guys, this is Megan from Megan Use Me and today I'm going to take you through two wigs that are very similar in measurements but have some very important differences. Now, when it comes to wigs, a lot of it is personal preference, whether you prefer heat friendly, whether you prefer standard synthetic. So I'm going to take you through the similarities and the differences of these two wigs. I'm going to start with the Lustrious, so I'll show you the cap and then I'll pop her on. Okay, so Lustrious, she has the full mono top with an ear to ear lace front, she has a wefted cap, she has felt ear tabs and velcro adjusters. So this is illustrious by Natural Image. Now Drive has a centre part and illustrious has the full mono part so you can part her wherever you want. She has a lovely lace front that's really well done and the parting is really well done as well. Her measurements are 12 in the front, she is 14 from crown to tip and 6 in the nape. So she does have very similar measurements to drive, but those differences really are in the fact that she's a standard synthetic, so she doesn't need heat to keep her nice. So heat friendly wigs, every few wears you do have to kind of put heat on them because they do become kind of clumpy and frizzy, but obviously they're upside is that you can style them how you want, you can curl them. So really, it's down to personal preference. But yeah, this, this one is illustrious and she's kind of my workhorse wig, if I'm honest. If I don't know what to wear and I'm just going out day to day, this is one that I just put on very quickly to go out. You know, she's not super glamorous, but she's just, she's just easy to wear. And she, I've washed her a few times and upkeep wise, she's just really easy. She washes nicely and she always comes out very nice, no problems. So day to day, I wear this one quite a lot. Okay, I'll quickly show you Drive. So here's the inside of Drive. So she has an ear to ear lace front, a centre part, a wefted cap, felt ear tabs, an extended nape and this is Drive by Ellen Villa. Now this is a beautiful beautiful natural piece she is so low density she looks very natural the hairline is amazing the knots are so small I would say it's probably one of the best hairlines that I've ever seen and the density if if your bio hair before you lost it was very fine and you're not used to high density wigs this is a fantastic wig for a first wig she is quite high maintenance in the fact that she is heat friendly. Lots of people don't realise when they start wearing wigs that these wigs do need heat. So after two or three wears, she will need low heat straighteners or a hot airbrush on her. I will do another video to show you how to use the straighteners to refresh the fibres. So once you've put the heat on, the fibres will go back to being silky and soft. It'll stop the wig from clumping and it'll get rid of those frizzy ends that you can get sometimes with heat friendly. But I'll do a separate video on that. If you subscribe, it should come up later. But yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful piece. She has a centre part, an ear to ear lace front and a wefted cap. So the fringe is 12 inches. The crown is 13 inches to the tips and the nape is 7 inches. So yeah, it, with the two, it just depends really what you prefer. For me personally, day to day, I would grab Illustrious because she's less upkeep. Whereas if I was maybe going for a night out, somewhere special, I would choose Drive. And that's just my personal preference. So yeah, both beautiful wigs and it gives you choice, doesn't it? Both really good quality wigs, so it just depends what you're looking for really. If you prefer standard synthetic or whether you like the heat friendly so that you could put maybe a loose curl into her. It's all personal preference really and it's just good to have the options, isn't it? Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!